Hi, I'm Kevin Dahani, and today I'm going to show you step-by-step step how to make a leopard mask for the Lion King. I'll use a variety of products and materials, including WED clay, plaster wrap, and paper mache. For a complete list of all the materials you'll need to make your own mask, just visit my website at theartfulness.com. For the leopardus sculpt, I used the WED clay, and as you can see, I did very general features. Um, all of the specific detailed features like eyes, a more detailed um, mouth and nose, that'll all be added in later using the paper mache clay. So, but for the first step in using the, uh, the plaster wrap, it's just much, much easier to just have generalized features. Even her ears, um, I just sculpted those on just for reference points. Those will actually be taken off when I do the plaster wrap. And I think that uh, for the final result, I'll probably end up using craft foam for the ears just to keep the mask nice and light. So next step is plaster wrap. The two layers of plaster wrap on the leopard are now dry, and I cut down, trim down the edges using my Dremel Moto tool. So the next step is to do paper mache. I have all of my supplies and materials ready, including my paper mache mix of flour, salt, and water. I have my Scott shop towels for glass, um, all cut out into approximate two inch strips got my scissors and my little tool here for getting into crevices and we're ready to paper mache. The paper mache layer on the leopard is dry so the next step is to do some fine sculpting using the paper mache clay. I have all my supplies and materials, including the paper mache clay, white glue, which I'll mix with water to help uh, adhere the paper mache clay. I've got some cornstarch, that just uh, helps uh, because the paper mache clay is very sticky. So it's kind of like dough, and if you use uh, the cornstarch to, to roll it out or on your fingers, it, it helps uh, it from being sticky all over the place. Um, so those supplies and materials are ready. If you would like more information on how to make the paper mache clay or specifically how to apply it and use it, just visit my website at theartfulness.com. The fine sculpting with the paper mache clay is done and dry. And so the next step is for me to cut out some ears using craft foam and hot glue them onto the sides of the head. Um, the reason I would do this before I paint is then once the ears are in place, the entire face and the ears can all be painted the same color. So the next step is to put on the ears. The layer of gesso primer is dry, and so now the next step is just to paint the leopard head. I've got uh, some pictures online to give me some inspiration, and also some of the fabric that we'll be uh, using for the costumes. So um, I'll be able to proceed with painting the face. The leopard mask is now complete. I painted it using a variety of metallic paints, including shades of gold, bronze, copper, and metallic brown. I didn't have any metallic green for the eyes, so I just took my regular green paint and I mixed in some pearlizing medium. The medium is a great product to use uh, since you can use it to give any paint a pearlized or metallic look. I finished the mask with some coats of matte varnish and then I got it ready for the show by attaching the baseball cap to the back using hot glue and goop adhesive. To learn how to do that, or for more information on this mask or other projects, just visit my website at theartfulness.com.